hello and welcome to another will it start video this time we've got the key gas system engaged so this is a priming system this is a little fuel container inside is diesel it was more holes than metal so i epoxied the whole canister it is now only still leaking a little bit from the fitting so we still need to figure that out but otherwise it holds fuel from there there's a fuel line that goes to a little press pump which is over here so this one i repaired i took it apart i cleaned it out and rebuilt it some epoxy here on the edge these aren't really rebuildable but they are also no longer available so we had to do the best we could so from there it pumps up into a fuel line and that goes to the intake manifold. So from that little pump, it comes through this fuel line here, right above the glow plug, the single glow plug in the intake manifold that heats up, that sends this hot air fuel mixture into the cylinders, making it easier to start. I've tested it already and it, it does work. It's still not a quick start, but it is a lot quicker than it used to be. Okay, and just release the throttle. Push a bit apart. Throttle small quarter onto there. Stick the key into the ignition. Then uh, you can't see, but on this side there's a fill cap. Undo. Open the fill cap. I changed the whole fuel system on this now, so instead of having a hundred leaks, now it only has two, which is the best I can do, considering the age and everything, and it's only really a sweat and not really a drip. So, that one's in neutral, and that's on neutral, as it has safety switches for that. So from the driver's point of view to start it up, you have to first disengage that. Then we've got the key here, so this has been converted to an alternator. So the glowing is going forwards. On the older tractors, if I remember correctly, you have to turn the key backwards. So now we've got that's the alternator light. Then you can see it's not very visible on camera, but if you turn like that, the light becomes a little bit more dim and at the same time we've got to press the plunger pump till it builds up pressure so now it's becoming firm so we're pumping fuel into the intake and we have to glow for a while make sure this is in neutral and that's in neutral because there are neutral position switches
up once it gets nice and warm. 